Ghost. It's about to give a little praise. It's Glory 92. Take it out by Hashem. You have a shot by Hashem. A carpet dash. Uh, Barack Thum. <coughs> uh, Barack Thum to the uh, elders. Barack and Barack. Barack and I say Shalom. And the Heavenly Father, two names that you have and his only begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Abishai. Those are their two names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lash Wakadash, the whole time. And I say Barak to the uh, elders, Wahakim, Wahakwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson of uh, Revelations 13, verse 16 to verse 18. You know, as we're getting closer and closer, the pushing of this RFID and the CHIP, you know, central digital bank currency, cash to society. And as of lately, we've been seeing the nations have been turning away from the American dollar and the EU dollar and the American dollar as well, too. And very soon, all the nations of the planet Earth, soon to come, are going to drop their paper dollar of their current currency. And then they're going to have a new form of currency, you know, uh, digital currency, you know, the digital, uh, the digital dollar, and digital ID, digital wallet, digital currency. The digital dollar, this is going to be a new form of currency in order to buy and sell. And this is what we're about to enter into, you know. This is uh, Revelations 13, verse 16. And it calls the all, both small and great, wretched, poor, free of bond to receive a karagma in his right hand or in his F O R E H E A D S. So, in order to buy your seal, you got to have that RFID and the CHIP of this technology that they want you to store in your body in order to buy your seal. And this is what we're about to enter into. And that's why you have the uh, servants and prophets of the Heavenly Father, which is the actual Israelites, out on the highways and hedges uh, teaching me of this very important matter, you know. You know, the clothing the uh, elders were Akim. And that's why we tell the children of Israel, you know, tell them to be not part partaker of the RFID and the CHIP of this MOTB, but come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father. Come back to your heritage, your culture, your customs, your language, and return back into the Heavenly Father, you know. As we're entering into these times, Revelations 3 verse 10, the outward temptation and the pushing of this MOTB. Revelations 14 verse 8 through verse 11. So you can be partaker of the righteous path and the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father. And it's coming back to being the Israelites, you know. This is uh, Revelation 13 and verse 16. And it calls the all, both small and great, rich or poor, free or bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their F O R E H A D S. Right? So, like I mentioned again, in order to buy your seal, if you don't have that technology, you won't be able to buy your seal because you're going to be an outcast. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about an actual rural outcast, not, not, not this modern day <laughs> current outcast of you, you know. <clears throat> your personality doesn't fit in with the crowd of people, so you're an outcast. No, I'm talking about a different type of outcast. I'm talking about financial, <laughs> uh, financial outcast, you know. This is because uh, we're entering the time where in order to buy your seal, if you don't got that technology on you, hey, you won't be able to buy your seal. You're going to be an outcast. And that's when that famine of word coming for a lack of bread, for lack of water, you know. These are the times we're about to enter into. Uh, perilous times. Uh, time. <laughs> perilous times. Tribulation times, and these are the times we're about to enter into, you know. Revelation 13 and verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he have the karagma, which is the M A R K, or the name of the B E A S T, or the number of his name. Right, so in order to buy your seal, if you don't have that karagma, the upper part and right part of your body, in order to buy your seal, hey, you won't be able to buy your seal if you don't have that, you know. Revelation 13 and verse 18, here is wisdom, let him have understanding. Count the number of the B-E-A-S-T, for it is the number of a man, and his number is S-I-X-303 score and S-I-X. So with that, hopefully this uh, quick sit-down lesson was edifying of Revelation 13, verse 16 through verse 18. And that was the title of the sit-down lesson. So with that, I would like to give all praises <clears throat> and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akakadash, Barak Thumb to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwaf, and uh, Shalom and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Baha Shem, in the name of Mashiach Yahweh. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one Kadash the whole time. And I say Barak Thumb to the uh, elders, Wahakim Wahakwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.